Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing Ghost Hunting Business Management Game Ghost Control Incorporated. In the game you lead a team of ghost hunters going around the city and eliminating the poltergeists and goblins and other beasts that roam the night. Uh, I'm going to load up an existing game that I'm fairly far in. Uh, what you do is you can answer calls that come in to hunt ghosts. I'll pause while I'm uh, talking about what you can do. Uh, in your little headquarters, this is actually the upgraded one. You can hire new team members. Right now I'm up to three. Uh, over here, it does randomly generated stats there. You can see kind of their health, their strength, how much stuff they can carry, how fast they can move, uh, aiming, morale, stuff like that. And then you can buy equipment for them uh, to use out in the field. There's different types of blasters and traps. Uh, and uh, sensors here that tell you how many ghosts are on each level and uh, outfit and stuff like that. So uh, let's just go out to a mission. It takes place uh, here in London. Somebody stole my job because I'm busy talking. Uh, so I'll just show off some of the other parts of it. You can go to a business over here. Uh, one thing about the, the map, if you ch change, de you can't change destinations while your vehicle is in motion, which is kind of annoying. Uh, because if a call comes in while you're traveling to like the gas station or something, you can't reroute yourself. So another team that's on the map may beat you to uh, the job. So you can see here there's a uh, different number of weapons uh, with different stats and traps uh, and other equipment. You can also upgrade your car uh, and you have to refuel every once in a while and then also visit the hospital to increase your sanity. So I'm going to accelerate time here until a job comes in. You know, the game's kind of a common, it's kind of like XCOM, there's a call, where, you know, you have your, the management aspect of it, and then you also have tactical battles, which I'm about to show off here, assuming I get here first, which it looks like I will. Before each mission, you can equip your team, uh, so I'm going to give that guy a trap. I always get this guy the sensor first, so I can figure out how many ghosts are in each level, and then you click let's go. It's a little tile-based system here. Uh, you perform different actions each turn. Each person gets two actions. You can move, place a trap, pick up a trap, open a door, turn on the lights, use a sensor, or just guard uh, the area. So I'm going to use this guy to use a sensor, and we got five goes in this level. So then I will give him a trap, which uses up all of his actions for that turn. Uh, and then I will start moving people around. So I have her open up the door. Uh, step inside. If you press shift it brings down the walls but you still can't rotate the view. Uh, in some of the larger levels you can't even pan the camera around so some of the area gets cut off by the messages over here. Uh, so it's interface needs a little bit of work. You know this kind of with the not being able to reroute yourself oh, hello. Um, while you're moving on the map kind of you know lacks a little bit of polish overall so I'm gonna blast this guy. Once they get below a certain amount, like for this trap it's two. Once they get below a certain energy amount then you have a basically a dice roll uh, to determine whether they get trapped or not. And this was unfortunate that I left this guy in the doorway. So that's too bad. But I can't blast this guy from the inside. And he missed. Uh, the AI and he turned off the lights. Awesome. And the AI seems to be kind of random, although it kind of generally moves towards you a little bit. You stink. Alright, let's see if I can put a trap under him. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy here. Him. Uh, there we go. Found one energy and got him in the trap. So, I'm going to have you pick up the trap. And then we're on the way searching for other people. Oh, yeah, that path is blocked. We put the cabinet or whatever right in the way. That's probably where I Yeah, there's a lot of people right there. Okay. Who told you to shoot? I think 
Oh, he's right in the doorway. Sometimes the turn ends automatically and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, your ghost hunters will get scared by the ghosts, which decreases their sanity, and eventually they'll um, panic and you can't use them anymore. Uh, and this guy being in the doorway is being really annoying. Alright, place a trap under him. Now you're in the way. And he moved. Yeah, he's down to zero energy, but... And you're going to be in the way. So I'm just going to end my turn. Oh, and there's a guy right there who I should have just left the trap for. Doorways are the death of everything. People block them and then you can't get around them. No, look, there's another guy right in front of the doorway. At least the guys are hitting something. Yeah, he's, he's gonna move him. Alright. Get out of this. Oh, there you go. I got one guy. Just by walking. Sometimes you can kind of put the traps between you and the ghosts, and they'll just like walk over them, and uh, you won't have to worry about it. Can you move? Yeah, you can actually move it. Alright. Now he's down to zero energy, so that's fine. I'm just gonna have you pick up that trap. Alright. And I'll have you put down a trap. If you turn on the lights, actually. There we go. Maybe there's another guy in here, just gonna see him. And this guy. There you go. Got him. Smoke is in your eyes. Still don't know what that means. And he turned the lights off. And turn the lights back on. And you pick up the trap. Then move. There isn't a time limit necessarily. Oh, look, a zombie. Um, and you don't have any traps. Awesome. Move away. Uh, although, as time goes on, the ghost will cause more damage to the structure, and if it reaches a certain level, then you lose. So you can't be super slow in taking care of them. Alright, yeah, move towards me. So I have a trap. Okay. No, play a trap. There you go. Huh. And you destroyed some furniture. Awesome. And you turn off the lights. Do these two guys here? Man, you guys are terrible. Move a little bit closer. See it, of course. Here we go. No energy, but the lights are off. So I'm gonna move you. You're gonna turn the lights back on. There we go. 
Uh, let's... All right, so. Oh, let's, I don't know how many people I have left here. Let's see. Let's get the sensor out. I have one left, all right. These guys over towards the doors here. Hello, any ghosts? Nope. Do, 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 do. You can see if people gain. S oh, there you are. Hi. Well, that was a dumb place for you to go, because now you're just going to get trapped. Uh, except you went around the truck. Oh, there you go. Done. Boom. Alright, there you go. So you get a whole ton of money. Back up to the map. I need to go to the hospital to regain sanity. There you go. So it's basically just a cash, you know, a cash thing. Cash is kind of the way that the game progresses. Uh, and then we can head back to the hotel. Or the headquarters, actually. There's another mission. So actually head back to headquarters first, and then we'll head to that one. Try to be quick about it. None of those guys are headed over. All right, go quick. Yeah, they already beat us to us. All right, well back to the headquarters then. We can sell some plasma, 500 bucks. So pretty good. There's another one. Way over there though. We'll swap the equipment around after we get over there. Alright, I actually need to buy another trap, to be honest. What's the capacity of this one? Three. That's two. Alright. That's good enough. Alright. Well, kind of see everybody anyway, but... Oh look, three. What a shock. Alright, let's go. Oops. The little comments would be wittier if they didn't repeat themselves so often. Alright, let's see what I want to do here. I think you have the good trap, so I'm going to have you drop a trap right there. Which unfortunately ends your trap. Alright, let's start trying to move everybody up. This is like a maze level here. I'm gonna go up that way. I feel like it has a variety of different enemies and stuff, so it isn't just the same handful of ghosts over and over again. Let's try to surround this guy. Names are randomly generated. I wouldn't pick somebody named Angry Flirt. <laughs> Seems kind of silly. Uh, let's go up here. Let's 
around him over on this one. Yes. Ooh. I put that trap down. Boom, done. It's easy. All right, back to headquarters. You can accelerate time to make travel a little bit faster. Eh, no, right. All right, so we emptied the trap. Uh, so that's it. That's basically the game. So you know, you take on the missions. Uh, you know, manage your business a little bit. It's really, you know, as long as you successfully complete missions, you really don't have to worry about your budget. And then you can use that money to purchase better equipment, faster cars, uh, your hunters upgrade over time. You also have to worry about their health and the gasoline in your vehicle. Uh, and then the tactical battles uh, can be a little bit interesting. You know, there's some tactical depth as to, you know, which abilities to use on which person, kind of planning out your moves and stuff like that. The AI isn't spectacular. But it's good enough for the game, uh, you know, to uh, provide some sort of challenge. Uh, you know, I failed a mission or two just by getting cornered and then people panicking uh, when their sanity level uh, gets too low. Overall, the game doesn't have uh, the depth of the replay value of something like XCOM, but it certainly has uh, a good theme with obvious inspiration. Uh, so people looking for that type of game, you know, it's a decent game. It's not a overwhelmingly outstanding game, but for what it does, it does pretty well. So that's all I have for today. Till next time, bye now.